we just kind of hide them. We act like those feelings or those hurts or those situations didn't really have an effect and we just push it to the side when all along God is wanting to resolve those things and the reason why some don't have complete peace and more importantly are not whole is because there's some things that are not resolved. I've had other ministers back to Brother Moore said it the other day as we were talking that have said what I know and it's not because I'm a rocket science scientist or have some special I just know what God showed me and what I see and the reality is the reason some are not completely whole and have complete peace is because through the years there's been some hurts, there's been some pain there's been some bitterness there's been some unforgiveness there's been some things that have shattered us and while some of it has been made whole, has been res restored and repaired, it has not all been whole. God wants to make us whole. He wants to resolve those things that keep us from the victory, from the depth I wonder why some people don't go any further. They bump up against it. It feels like God's about ready to take them deeper and they can't get any farther. Because there's some things that are not resolved that have been buried. And until you and I are willing to unbury them and deal with them, we can't go any further. <laughs> I can tell you I'm in the Holy Ghost right now. I had no idea I was going to talk about this right now, but I can tell you it's in my heart. And I want you to know that it is the will of God that all of us are whole and that we have peace in our heart. But in order for God to put the pieces back together completely, in order for peace to completely pass everything and keep our hearts, it's got to be working in our, in our life correctly. See, what we try to do is we just say we're going to try hard. I'm going to try harder. I'm going to try to pray harder. I'm going to try to do this harder. I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm, going, to, I'm going to try to fix this. I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to do this and try to The problem with that is that's on our own merit. That's by our own power. And as much as we try and try and try and try, we will never fix ourselves. We can't fix ourselves. But He can. Oh, He can. He can not only fix it, He can make it like it never happened. That's why I love restoration so much, and He is a God of restoration, because He can restore, put back to present condition. See, it's broke, and we can put duct tape on it. Or he can just kind of turn back the clock, so to speak, and make it like it was never broke. But for him to do that in our life, we have to allow him to do that. And we have to be real with him. And we have to stop trying to fix it on our own. Resolve it on our own. And to do that, we've got to be brave. We gotta be honest. We gotta be transparent. Because as much as we try to act like we got it all together, try to act spiritual, try to act, we ain't fooling nobody. And that's why we don't have peace. And that's why our life sometimes feels so disjointed. But God wants to restore it, wants to put it all back together. But to do it, we got to be honest and we got to be willing to allow God in His mercy and grace to unbury. You ever wonder why it's called the root of bitterness? Because roots are buried. And some stuff that's left unresolved is buried. 
And God, who is a gentleman, will not come with a shovel and start digging up without your permission. Oh, I'm going to tell you, pastors in the Holy Ghost, I have no idea what's flowing through me right now, but God wants someone to hear today. You need to say, God, here's the shovel. Let's start digging. Yeah, that hurts. Yeah, that's painful. We're going to expose some things. We're going to be honest about some things. We're going to quit burying some things. We're going to just talk honest and open about some things. But do you know that in exposing the root, it is exposed to light and God is light. And when light affects the root, roots are destroyed. <laughs> See, we want to hide in the dark. We want to keep the secrets buried in dark places. But God wants you to hand him a shovel. Say, God, I want to resolve some things that are keeping me from really being whole and really being used and really grow, that are keeping me, that are keeping my family, that are keeping my ministry, that are keeping me I want you to put the pieces back together. I want you to help me. <laughs> See, I can't try harder. The Bible said there were 10 lepers that went to Jesus. And they said, they caught his attention and said they wanted to be healed. And he said, go show yourselves to the priest. Remember that story? And so they go to show themselves to the priest. And as they go, the Bible specifically says that they were cleansed. And the reason he sent them to the priest is because they had to be able to be proven to be clean or cleansed from leprosy. Because that was keeping them from being restored to their family. They were isolated. Leprosy, which is a type, which sin is a typology. It's a typology, right? We're all kind of spiritual lepers because sin separates us. So go show yourself to the priests. And when they went, they were cleansed. Which meant they were able to go back to their family. They were able to go back to fellowship with other people. They were able to hang out with others. They were able to celebrate the feasts and all of the things because they had been declared cleansed. And thank God for His blood that cleanses us. That we can come to an altar and He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and by His blood He will cleanse us so that we can be restored. How many know that when he saves us, when we experience new birth and salvation, there's still some stuff he's got to fix. So we're not yet whole. Cleansed, but not whole. Because there's some unresolved things that he's wanting to do in our life, and if we will let him, he will make us whole. See, the one returned, right? He went back. And when he went back, he started uh, worshiping and thanking God because he recognized that God did what only God could do. The other nine were like, whoa, yeah, great, wonderful. And they didn't return back. They didn't worship him or give him recognition because God was the only one that could fix their leper situation. And he fixed it. And nine of them just went back to their families and doing what they were doing to be cleansed. One said, wait a minute, I know what happened. And I know who did it. And I'm going to go back and worship. Went back into his presence. And we're in the presence of a holy God. And I feel so strongly that God is trying to minister and trying to help us to make us completely whole. No plan 
going to speak in this talk about this. Brother Will, we're going to have to get you another night, my friend. <laughs> but I believe God wants to make us whole. If we're honest, there's some areas of our lives sometimes that we just try to avoid. And I believe the fact that we try to avoid those things is why we are not completely whole. We try to fix it on our own or just act like it's not there. He went back. He went back. He worshipped him. Just as we worship today. And then he said, you are whole. You are complete. Now, think about it. It had already been cleansed. The sin had already been removed. That had been cleansed. They had already been forgiven of the things and, and of whatever. So it's like we'll go to the altar and we pray and we repent. And the sin is gone. God's forgiven us of that. But how many know there's sin and weights that easily stop us? And there's some weights and there's some things that get in our heart that hinder us from walking in complete peace with God. So, what was it? What was it that he was made whole of? Because the, the leprosy was already cleansed. Well, I think there were things about being a leper that kind of affected him. I think there was some lonely issues. There might have been some angry issues. Go, oh, why am I a leper? Why am I? Why can't I be with my family? There might have been some fear because what is going to happen? This is this is going to kill me. This is destroying me. There, there, there might have been some resentment. Why was I born this way and others weren't? There might have been some pain. There was certainly some shame. There were certainly some things that went along with that. Things inside. Feelings inside. Things that were buried that nobody else would have seen. He could have gone with the other nine and been restored to the family and have been able to participate in the feast and enjoy all of the wonderful things of being there. But the Lord knew there was some things inside that were yet to be dealt with in order for them to have true peace and be completely whole. that peace. 
peace would pass all understanding, that that peace would be the guard of my heart and of my mind. Would you stand with me today? No real notes, just gave you what was on my heart. Now I'm just going to let you do whatever you and God want to do with it. But if there's some things that are not resolved, you want to know why you, I, I feel like this might be the answer for someone that's been asking God, why can't I seem to go further? I pray, I fast, I, I'm faithful. Why can't I go further? What seems, why does there seem like something that they see? Could be that there's a part. There's something that you're trying to fix on your own or forget or bury. That God's trying to say, hey, why don't you come back? Now notice, he came back and worshipped. He didn't come back belly aching. He, didn't come. he thanked God for what God had done. And we need to leave thanking God for everything he's done tonight and everything he's done in our heart. But see, that's why worship is so powerful because and thanksgiving is so powerful because he didn't come back asking for more. He just came back thanking him. That, that leper who was cleansed that came back to give God glory would have been happy just coming back giving Him glory. It was God that pointed out, wait a minute, since you did come back with the right attitude, the right spirit, with a thankful heart, now let me just go ahead and complete the work. Let me form it all in you. Let me just make you whole. So as we're worshiping and as we're loving Him, as we're thanking Him, and as we're living for Him, God will reveal some of the things that are hindering us from being whole. And, and my plea to you as your pastor is, when God begins to unearth it and bring along the shovel and begin to talk to you about some of the things that you've tried to fix or do in your own strength or your own power, or some of the things you've tried to just kind of push aside and not, not realize or not talk about, the things that you kind of keep in the dark and the secret, say, God, okay, bring the show and shed a little light because I want to be whole. Don't you want to be whole? Don't you want to walk in peace 24-7? He came to make us whole. So we're going to end tonight thanking God because God did so much. And as we're thanking Him, it could be that God would grab that show and talk to you about something. And as he does, why don't you just give it to him? It may require you going to somebody. It may require you seeking somebody out. It may require you spending a little time searching the subject to figure out how God can help you out with it. It may take some meditation, some pondering, some thinking, some prayer. But the worst thing you can do when God begins to talk to you about it is push the shovel back in his hand and just keep it buried. Because then when we get to judgment day, God's going to say, you know that thing that I tried to shed a little light on? That thing that just kept you from... Thank God for merciful God, a loving God, a patient, kind, Whose compassions don't fail. Whose mercies are new every morning. We're going to sing a song of worship and thanksgiving. I'm going to ask everybody to come gather around the altar. I feel unity. I feel peace in the house. Just bury my heart with you today. It's just something to think about. We're going to sing this song. We're going to worship. We're just going to thank you. And then we're going to be dismissed. But if something says struck a chord, why don't you just tell him, God, if you'll help me, we can uncover this together. We'll resolve this, God, because I want to be whole, not just cleansed, not just to, I don't want just to feel good. I just don't want to come in and go, and leave and say, oh, I feel good. Oh, God, I want you to make me whole. In Jesus' name. Love him, would you lift your hands? Why don't you just worship him right now? Come on, talk to him. Come on. Yes, come on, sing it as a prayer.
Let's thank him one more time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, we need to praise him. Come on, we need to praise him. I know we got a lot to think about, but let's just praise him. Come on, we need to leave these places, place worship.
entire service, I believe that God is going to receive the glory. And there's going to be some things you're going to begin to see that are going to be incomplete. You're going to begin to see. I prophesied in some way. You're going to begin to see things come back together. You're going to see some things that have been by the wayside. And you're going to begin to see them grow again. You're going to begin to see the, 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 the seeds begin to take root. You're going to begin to see. Come on, you're watching. You count it. You remember this service where God began to work and you begin to take the shovel along with him and you allowed some things to be imparted into your soul and into your spirit and you took them like I'm taking a handkerchief in my hand and when you walked out the door, you took it and said, that was a word for me. That was for my house. That was for my family. And if you'll apply it to your life, if you'll claim it every day, you'll see God. See, he was cleansed. He was touched just like every one of us was touched. But when he turned around and went back to Jesus and thanked him, he was whole. Thank God. I feel like this. Some marriages are going to be whole again. Some relationships are going to be whole again.